online, on DAB Plus, and on the Talk Radio app. Evenings with Kevin O'Sullivan on Talk Radio. Uh, let's talk about uh, energy now. Uh, power mad, uh, they're saying. Uh, you know, we have a situation where we've got a gas shortage. Uh, we've got a gas crisis. Uh, people are facing the grim prospect of their gas bills going up by 70 percent. Uh, where is our energy coming from at the moment? Uh, allegedly, mostly windmills and solar panels. But guess what? Uh, despite what the government might tell you, uh, windmills and solar panels do not produce enough energy uh, to fund this country uh, with the fuel and the power that it needs. And why are we in such trouble? Um, mainly because we could be up to our next in gas. Uh, we could uh, be uh, one of the gas richest countries in the world if we'd have carried on fracking, if we'd have carried on looking for shale gas, because we have a huge supply of it underneath Yorkshire and Lancashire. Uh, one of the biggest in the world, up there with uh, what was found under Texas. Now, when the Americans carried on with their fracking pros, process, uh, they hit pay dirt, as it were. They hit so much shale gas that America now has enough cheap gas, enough cheap energy uh, to supply its people uh, at very low rates uh, for the next hundred years, more than a hundred years. It is also selling its gas around the world and uh, lots of industries have uh, arisen because of it. Uh, employment's up. It is a happy day story. But no, 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 we, we could have been there and we could now be uh, swimming in cheap energy, cheap gas, but uh, we closed down our fracking operation uh, because the eco nuts told us to do it. And our government prefers to pretend that windmills and solar panels are all that we need. It's not true. Uh, when the sun doesn't shine, uh, solar panels don't work. Uh, when the wind doesn't blow, wind turbines don't work. You have to switch to another form of power. Uh, hitherto, it's been gas, but we're running out. And we've got no more storage centres. So uh, we're in trouble. Uh, let's speak to the head of Young Voices UK, Jason Reid. Good evening, Jason. Hi, Kevin. Yeah, this is a form of madness. This government is trying to uh, pretend to us that uh, windmills, turbine, wind turbines and uh, solar panels are all we need to supply this country with energy. They're not. It's not enough. And particularly with the vicissitudes of the weather, uh, when the sun doesn't shine and the wind doesn't blow, uh, we have to switch to an alternative power source. You can't switch to nuclear because nuclear uh, doesn't work like that. It's too difficult to switch on and off. It has to run on a kind of almost permanent basis. So nuclear can never be a backup power source, uh, but gas can. And of course, we've got rid of some of our gas storage centres. So they've gone. Um, and uh, so we are, you know, now find ourselves in a crisis. We haven't got enough gas. We've got a, a power system that uh, does not supply enough power to fuel this country. Uh, and we're heading for some kind of crisis. It could well be that the lights are going to start going out before Christmas. This government has conned us, hasn't it? It has. It's an absolutely ridiculous situation we're in. Um, these problems could have been foreseen by a, a primary school class of geography students that you can't rely on something like wind power to be your backup when Russia jacks up the prices of gas because sometimes there isn't any wind. And that's exactly what's happened over the past few months. All of these wind turbines, these wind farms have been uh, completely stationary, not generating any power. Um, and so we don't have anything to, to fall back on now that we don't have any, as you say, shale gas of our own, because it's not even politically permissible to store gas in this country, let alone to find any gas of our own. And so it means when Russia jacks up the prices and there isn't any wind for us to fall back on, we're screwed. We've got nothing left to do. And in any other industry, if you were the owner of a wind farm, which uh, didn't produce any energy, you'd be panicking right now. You'd be about to go bust because you haven't generated any, any power at all. But of course, the crony capitalists who run the uh, £10 billion a year 
wind power industry, they're rubbing their hands, they're loving it because they are surviving off all the green levies that we pay on our electricity bills, which go directly into their pockets because they're doing God's work, they're doing important things to protect the planet by running their wind farms that don't generate any electricity. And so they will continue doing exactly what they're doing and we will keep having to fork out for it. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, what, what happens, just so in case people didn't quite get the point, is that when we run out of power, uh, from wind turbines and from solar panels, which we often do because of the vicissitudes of the weather, as we just discussed. You have to switch to a backup power system in order to make our power uh, reliable. Hitherto, that's been gas, but we've been getting rid of all of our gas storage centres on the basis that, uh, indeed, in the end, uh, wind and sun will see us through. Uh, but it won't. Uh, the only other thing you can back up uh, our power system with will be coal and we won't allow that and of course I think we've only got coal three coal fuel power stations left so we are heading full throttle towards a total kind of green energy system that is insufficient for this country this is why we're in the trouble we're in right now Boris is over in New York trying to persuade other world leaders to be like us to to go green to have wind turbines to have solar panels and to eschew the horrors of coal uh, and old-fashioned fuel systems and of course the other world leaders are looking at him and thinking you're an idiot you're just an idiot. We're not going to do it. It's ironic and quite sad that this crisis is happening while Boris Johnson is, as you say, in New York, trying to make Britain out to be a world leader um, and everyone else should follow our example and we're going to lead the fight against climate change. And in reality, when you look at the numbers, um, we don't contribute any significant proportion of uh, global carbon emissions, as you'd expect. It all comes from China and India uh, and China are building a billion new coal plants every day and what are we doing to offset that we're going to maybe ban plastic spoons and that's the best we can come up with uh, the other person who's rubbing his hands off the back of this is of course vladimir putin uh, a few years ago when the um when the shale gas industry exploded as you were saying in the u.s especially in texas yeah, he, and Pennsylvania. He, vladimir putin you're quite right jason he fueled uh, the anti-fracking protests. He put loads of information out. He backed the frac the, the anti-frackers because he knew that had we have gone ahead with our shale gas uh, program, we would have become one of the most gas-rich countries in the world and our problems energy-wise would have all been over and we wouldn't need any more Russian gas for a kickoff. Uh, it really is crazy. It's crazy. We've been conned. Uh, Jason, uh, great to talk. Uh, well, let's talk again very soon. That's Jason Reed, head of Young Voices UK there. I'm Kevin O'Sullivan. This is the home in the zone of free speech and common sense talk radio. Online.